Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a 60 FPS patch for Demon Souls on RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. Now, this patch is actually quite easy to apply. Uh, I'm just going to apply it to the latest version of RPCS3. As you can see, it is version 0.0.5.6675. Now, in order to apply this patch, we are going to need to create a new text document in this folder right here. I'm simply going to right click, select new and create a new text document. Next, I want to rename this patch and then name the extension to YML like the other YML files right here. Once you have done this, make sure to click yes to change this to a YML format. As you can see, it's now patch.yml. In order to change the extension or to get your extension to appear, simply click view and you want to click file extensions here. Once you have completed this step, we are now ready to actually add the patch to this patch.yml document. As you can see, above my folder right here, I have my Demon Souls 60fps patch. I'm going to simply open this folder and what you want to do is you want to copy all of this data. I will have this in a copy pasteable format down in the description of this video and all you need to do is highlight it like so right click and copy it and now we need to come to our patches.yml document once you have this opened all you need to do is paste all of this data in here and then come up to file and click save once you have saved all this data you can close this folder and we are now ready to launch our game and test out this 60 fps patch so once i have rpcs3 open you can see that my game serial right here completely matches the number that appears in our patches.yml right here if I scroll this down, you will see that they exactly match up. This means that the patch is going to be correctly applied to my game. Before I launch, I'm just going to right click and configure my game and make sure that my settings are exactly as they should be. Okay, so CPU settings are perfect. We have right color buffers on and I am going to be using a resolution of 1440p. So once I have all this applied, I'm simply going to close this and actually launch into game. So as you can actually already see in the top left hand corner, we are indeed rendering at 60 FPS. Let's just load through these splash screens and actually try to get ourselves into game. Okay, so we're now in the main menu. Let's just actually navigate through all of these menus and we are going to be loading into the Shrine of Storms. So here we are, you can see that we're still rendering at 60 FPS. The only actual issue at the minute with this patch is that the game is actually completely sped up to double the speed. So not only are we actually getting double the frame rate, we are actually getting double the movement speed also. Now, for a lot of you who have been around my channel for a long time, we had a very similar circumstance in another game called Breath of the Wild over on Simu Emulator, an emulator for the Wii U. Now, over on that emulator and in Breath of the Wild, we had basically the exact same circumstance. That game also received a patch that enabled 60 FPS gameplay, however, it was completely sped up to double speed as you can see on screen. However, as time passed, this patch got improved and we now basically have a full patch for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that enables 60 FPS in this game that was also originally 30 FPS and in a very similar circumstance to Demon's Souls, all of its physics are indeed tied to its frame rate. So it is for this exact reason that I am quite excited about this patch for Demon's Souls. I know the patch itself actually has been around for quite a while. I though myself have not been able to get my hands on a copy of the game up until very recently and I am now just experimenting and seeing exactly how much performance we can get out of this title on this emulator. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video. Let me know down in the comments whether you think this patch can be improved on and perfected in the future of this game and emulator. Remember to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. If you wish to help support the channel, you can do so by following the link down in the description to the BSOD Gaming Patreon. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.